Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're just going to have a little bit of a chat. And whilst we have a chat, I'm going to be putting all of this silver in storage. Now don't worry, I'm not going off of YouTube for an extended period of time again. I'm actually going away on holiday. Now every single year, myself, my mum, my gran, my brother and his partner, my partner and all our children, we go to Yorkshire. Now we go to a small village in Yorkshire. I've actually been going to the same village ever since before I can even remember. Even before I was actually kind of able to walk and I used to go in a carry buggy kind of thing on my mum's back or my dad's back. And it's one of these places where everyone kind of has their own home away from home. And this is kind of our place here in the UK. Now, for those of you that live in the UK or for those of you that have visited the UK and you've been to Yorkshire, you'll know that it's one of the most scenic places here in the UK. It's very similar to the Cotswolds, where it's just lots of nice countryside, nice walks, nice fresh air. And the great thing about Yorkshire, there isn't actually much phone signal in the village that we stay in. So it actually forces you to have a little bit of a break away from reality. Now, it doesn't mean the videos are going to stop on this channel because I have got quite a few videos pre-recorded. So I will still be releasing videos while I'm away. So before I go away, I'm going to be putting all of this silver that I have in my YouTube set up into storage. Now, I'm going to be putting it in a different location from my normal stack. And I've got this kind of inconspicuous bag i think it's one of my partner's old bags i'm just going to use this because it's quite a nice size i think i'll be able to fit everything in here so i'm literally just going to be putting all of this stuff away into storage now as many of you know this is the stack that i have on display for my videos it's, it's separate from my deep stack and that is why i want to keep it separate just so when i get back from holiday it's much easier to get it all out and start filming again instead of trying to work out what stuff i want out and what stuff i I don't want out on display. Now, like I said, I'm just going to try and get it all in this one bag. I don't know if that's going to work. I think it could work. I might have to put all these tubes separately. That one's empty, but I can put the Britannias in it in a minute. There's a tube of copper rounds there as well. 365 Days of Silver channel bar. This is the bar that I'll be giving away when this channel reaches 10,000 subscribers. Absolutely gorgeous piece of silver. 10 ounces hand poured by Backyard Bullion. Really, really nice piece. I'm actually going to put that separate in here because that doesn't really belong to me. That's going to belong to someone else in the future. So I don't really want to get it damaged. So that will go separately in there. Things like display pieces whoops, will just stay on display. It's just really the silver that I want to put away. Just so that if, like I said, someone did break into my house, and don't get me wrong, my house is very, very secure. We have people regularly coming around and checking up on the house, feeding the fish, and we've got a good alarm system. The alarm system we have actually rings someone that lives about five minutes away from my house. It's got sensors on every single window, every single door, and motion sensors as well. And if someone was to trigger them, it actually rings this person a family member that lives five minutes from my house so really cool it rings up to three people i think you can have it call in so i've got it call in the family member that lives around the corner from my house it also calls my dad and it also calls me as well so not much i can do in yorkshire but it, it lets me know the alarm's going off and the people that it rings that live closer they would probably be round here before the police even got here so, yeah, really cool. I definitely recommend looking into an alarm system like that if you do stack precious metals. Oh, it's not going to fit in there, is it? I always forget they're slightly bigger the kangaroos and some of the other balloon coins. But, yeah, it's really cool. It's a nice, nice peace of mind to know that if the alarm went off, there could be someone around here within five minutes. It's a nice peace of mind when you go away. These are really cool. These are the... Uh, two ounce scottsdale stack of rounds really really nice great detail really really cool pieces and i think we are gonna get it all in it look at that what a haul imagine if someone did find that It'd be the lucky day wouldn't it now i'm gonna keep the tubes separate 
Got that bar to go in there as well. And then this is all my YouTube stack of one ounce silver bars. Really, really cool. Nice way to store them. And again, I'll keep that separate as well from the other stuff. But there we go. We're starting to look a little bit less vulnerable now if someone was to find my filming location and don't get me wrong this this setup that i have isn't just like a a desk in my front room or anything like that this actual setup is really really secure in itself you have to go through three layers of locked doors just to get to this place where i film so although some of you might think it's a bit reckless leaving all that silver on display when i'm not filming it's pretty much a safe in its own right this filming area because that's what i wanted it to be i wanted it to be a place and this is actually a fake american silver eagle that i brought to compared to the real ones but um yeah like i was saying this this filming studio that i've created is actually just as secure as an actual safe because like i said it has there's some constitutional silver there and a 50p there i'll show that for cranky cranky loves his 50ps But yeah, so like I was saying, this is this this filming setup is basically locked away like a safe. So you have to go through three locked doors just to reach this filming studio. So though I do leave my silver on display in between filming videos, it's very very secure. It's not just like a, like I said a desk in my front room or a desk in my bedroom or a desk in any room in my house. It's 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 actually locked away. I'm going to put this constitutional silver this was actually from constitutional stacker sent me this really really cool i think we've got a rogue 10p in there one of the alphabet 10ps i actually found in my change i'd quite like to get the whole alphabet that's a v there you can actually get the whole alphabet of these v i'm guessing that's v for village it's got lots of little houses Similar to the village that I'll be staying in when I go to Yorkshire. Now, I'm not actually going to disclose the location of the village that I go to in Yorkshire because it's it's somewhere I go every single year. And it's, it's a bit of a hidden gem, really. So I don't really want to disclose its location. I'm going to keep that in there. Just because it's kind of like a, like I said, it's a home away from home. But I will be filming some videos whilst I'm there. And it will be very interesting to hear from those of you that live in the UK, especially those of you that live in Yorkshire. It'll be very interested to hear from you when I start posting videos while I'm away, if you recognise any of the, the areas that I'm in. So that'll be quite interesting, because when I went to Norfolk for a family holiday a few months back, there was quite a few people that wrote in the comment section saying they recognised the village, some people actually said they lived in that village. Some people said they lived sort of down the road from it. And that was really cool that they actually identified the beach and the surroundings from my videos. So, yeah, I'm interested to see if people recognise it this time when I go away. I'm just checking what we've got. Oh, I'm glad I checked in there. That's the angle hard bar. I wonder where that had gone. I thought I'd put that away in the deep stack. One of my favourite bars. Look at that. Vintage waffle back. 10 ounce angle hard poured bar um but yeah so i will be interested to hear from those of you that live york in yorkshire or have visited yorkshire if you recognize the the place that i'm actually staying and like i said i will be uploading some videos of the village and places nearby because it's such a beautiful place i've got really really nice scenery and everything like that so so yeah i will be interested to hear from those of you that recognize it causing chaos now i'm just double checking so i can never remember if i've got bits and pieces in these containers or not no nope, nothing in there there we go causing chaos here Put that back there you can tell there's no whiskey in it because it's very light at the moment i need to stock up on whiskey i'm actually running out i've got an emergency flask of whiskey there and even that's got no whiskey in it so 
really slacking, but it's because I knew I was going on holiday. I thought I'll hold off till I get back and then I'll purchase another bottle of whiskey again. Right, I think that's it now. I think that's everything. I've got these tubes and bars and things separate, but that's all the individual bits and pieces. So I'm going to zip that up now. Look at that. What a gorgeous haul. Look at that. Really, really cool. She's probably going to break her, her bag when I try and lift it. Wow, that has got some serious weight. Not even sure. For those of you that watched that video, have a guess how many ounces are in there. And I don't even know the answer, so I won't be able to reply an answer, but there's some weight in there. Wow, really cool. So there we go, that's everything put away. That'll be going into storage. Oh, I've got these barter chips, they can go in there as well. Got the gold back separately there. And I've got a couple of bits around the desk that I need to put away. I've got those dice, the solid silver dice, really, really cool pieces. Also got the proof coins from the Pressburg Mint. I've got this silver ornament that you would have seen me unbox on the channel by now. That's going to go away as well. And I think that's it. I've got a few parcels here that I won't be able to show you because I've got my address all over them. I've probably got about six or seven parcels down here that are ready for future unboxing videos. But I think that's pretty much it now. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put this all into storage. Like I said, I will still be uploading videos whilst I'm away because I have some pre-recorded videos that I need to get around to editing. So there will be some videos uploaded while I'm away. And I'll also film some footage whilst I'm away as well. Like I said, it'll be interesting to see if anyone recognises where I'm staying, recognises the village. But I hope you all have a nice week. And I'll um, speak to you all soon. Oh, I almost forgot this. Always oh, forgot this silverback. Now these are actually worth quite a lot of money. I didn't realise how much these were worth because there's only a limited supply of them. And you can see on here if it's going to focus, there's only a hundred thousand of them. And apparently they sold up very very quickly on the second hand market. Sometimes these sell for like a hundred pounds. So yeah, really collectible. And I've also got another gold back in there, and that's a quite a large gold back. That's a fifty gold back there. So I need to take that in storage as well. So yeah, there we go. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to put all this into storage. I think I've got a monster box down here. A few bits in it. And like I said, I've got a few parcels, but yeah, we're pretty much there now. So yeah, I'm going to go and put all this away. Like I said, I hope you have a nice week. Thanks very much for watching. Put all this stuff away. I hope you found it interesting. I can rearrange it all a little bit once I've reset the setup back up. I've got another one of these displays which are really cool. So I'm going to maybe put that on top of there so I can have a bit more silver on, on display stands. So yeah, I've got a few things in mind when I get back. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a very nice day.